going on YouTube and what is going on Clash of Clanners pro wrestling gamer great Malachi here bringing you another Clash of Clans war attack um, those of you who know me know that I am a pro wrestler but I also consider myself a pro gamer so from now on when I do these videos these gameplay footage videos you will refer to me as a pro wrestling gamer got it good but uh, anyway, I had a lot of fun doing the last video. I'm not, I'm not like a professional when it comes to doing these gameplay videos or anything like that. For, for right now, it just seems to be a hobby that I happen to enjoy. I did have fun doing the last video, so I'm going to try and bring you guys a steady influx of videos whenever some cool attacks come up or, or anything interesting comes up during Clash of Clans or other games that I might decide to play later on in the future. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to do a little series for our clan. Our clan is on a quest for 100 war wins. Right now we're currently at 97 war wins and as you can see by the screen, we did get a draw this last war. This is our most recent war um, and it ended 36-36 in a draw. We've actually been getting quite a few of these draws lately. Um, not back-to-back -back draws, but we do get quite a few draws as we move up on the ladder of war wins and everybody's upgrading It seems like the matchmaking system is just giving us the worst clans to combat with um, We're usually overpowered. We usually have to pull together and you know Everybody's on chat trying to figure out and help each other and how we're gonna attack this guy and how we go about attacking that guy And what kind of army compilation can we use and that's the exact same thing that happened here but sadly, we couldn't get the win. However, they weren't able to get the win, and it ended in a draw. So now if you look at the war events here, I'm going to scroll all the way down the log, and you're going to see that we actually started this war really, really well. <clears throat> we were kicking their ass pretty much. They started with a one-star attack. We started with a three-star attack. And pretty much, you know, throughout most of the war, we were hitting two and three-star attacks, two and three-star attacks. And they were hitting pretty good attacks too. But... They were getting some one-star attacks, putting the ratio in our favor. So we got a little bit cocky and confident. I know a lot of our members tend to do that when we have a decent lead, and we did have a decent lead. But at one point or another, we we eventually bombed our first attack. Muzza Fuzza bombed our first attack. He got no stars on Shingna 007 or 07. And then it just kind of started going downhill from there. Um, we were trying to gain some stars. We were able to gain one here. But overall, we were, we were having a hard time, you know, getting more stars because most of the towns had already been two-starred. So the enemy started catching up. And eventually, the enemy surpassed us in stars. And by the time we got to the end of the war, the enemy had put out 30 attacks when they finally hit Epic. And they had 36 stars. And we had put out 29 attacks when King put his last attack out. And we had 34. So that left me, the sole survivor, with one attack. We were 29 attacks in. They were 30 attacks in. We were down by two stars. The, the number one town had not been hit. The number one enemy town had not been hit. And um, it just didn't seem possible. Because for one, I'm a Town Hall 9. So I don't have the luxury of the free spells. I don't have level 5 P.E.K.K.A.s. I don't have level 5 Max Golems or anything like that. I'm a Town Hall 9 with Town Hall 9 max troops, so um, I had to work with what I had, and this is the town that I ended up having to attack, and I'm going to scout it for you before uh, before I actually show you the attack. So it's a pretty decent Town Hall 10. You can see he's got all his splash damage in the middle. He's got his three Expos in the middle. He's got his two Infernals all surrounding the Town Hall. He's got his Wizard Towers there. He's got his Heroes not too far away. So, I mean, he's got decently leveled walls. A lot of them are already level 9. It just looked like an impossible feat. We thought we were going to lose. I was telling the clan we had a 5% chance of actually even tying this thing. Um, I was confident that I would be able to get one star on him, but two stars were very iffy. So, I ended up having to dump my entire army, because I had an army of P.E.K.K.A.s and Wizards, and I replaced that with two Golems, ten Witches, eight Wizards, four or five Wall Breakers, and a Clan Castle with a level three P.E.K.K.A., an Archer, and a Wizard inside. So, I was basically doing Go Wee Wee Ipe. I don't know, Go Wee Wee just sounds funny, but it was basically a Go Wee Wee Ipe attack. And, um... I used a jump spell, I used a rage spell, and a heal spell. Uh, I think I used two rage spells. And it ended up giving me the two stars that we needed. So without further ado, I'm going to play this attack. 
And you'll see that the first thing I did was drop my two golems, and the reason for doing that was so they can tank the damage. And I dropped every single wizard to clean up the, the stuff on the outside as fast as possible. Then I dropped my two wall breakers. Here comes the enemy clan castle to dragon with archers. I dropped my king to try and distract the dragon. Then I dropped my queen so she can go and annihilate the dragon. And I just spammed all of my witches. Then I dropped the heal spell so that I can try and preserve as many of those wizards as I could while keeping my uh, barbarian king and, and, and golems health up. Then I dropped the uh, clan castle and I dropped the raid spell. And here's where things go wrong. My queen, who's supposed to be my MVP player, she decides she's going to go off to the side and hit random objects. Instead of taking that jump spell straight to the center where I wanted her to go, she still continues to go to the side. So instead of her taking out the town hall for me like I wanted, I got wizards and witches contending with all the splash damage in the center. And there goes a golem who's tanking. Thankfully, the golem decided to make his way toward the middle. My king is about to die. But while the golems are tanking the expos, I'm lucky enough... <clears throat> that the witches aren't taking damage. Now that the golems and everything are dead, the witches are taking all the damage. And as you can see, there's very few witches alive left. And they're just spamming skeletons into the center. And that one last witch that you see standing there right now was the one that took the town hall down. She had those two wizard towers, the expos, and the infernos all on her. And she managed to take that town hall down, giving me the two-star attack. Meanwhile, the queen over here is being a complete idiot. And she's just taking out little random objects but it doesn't matter anymore because I got my two stars so I'm just going to end the attack here because I know I'm not going to get three <coughs> so as you can see it was two two raid spells one jump spell one heal spell my clan castle ten witches two golems it was actually nine wizards because one came out of the clan castle and four wall breakers plus my heroes and that got me two stars on a town hall ten tying the war and the war was actually tied 14 minutes as you can see right here 14 minutes before it ended so these guys were having a little bit of a, of a verbal uh, smack talk back and forth in the clan description with us we're going back and forth talking smack to each other um, in the beginning it was us bragging about how we were kicking their ass and then later on it was them bragging about how they came back and they were kicking our ass and toward the end they really thought they had it but you know what we just don't lay down and die. That's why we're clan killers, because we don't lay down and die. We kill clans. That's what we do. We're in a quest for 100 war wins, and we didn't lay down and die. And although we didn't win this war, we did not give them the satisfaction of beating us. Instead, we tied that score, ending at 36-36. So, uh, we're still three wins away from 100 war wins. So, I will make another video uh, when we start our next war. Right now, we're in prep day. So next war, I'll make another video and we'll see the results of that war. See you later, guys. Peace out.